Did you know that in 2025, there will be over 3.5 million unfilled cybersecurity jobs globally? And some of those roles are waiting for people just like you. No degree, no tech background, just determination. Cybersecurity isn't just a buzzword anymore. It's one of the fastest growing fields in the world. Every day, cyber attacks cost companies millions and they're desperate for skilled defenders. But if you're brand new to tech, it can feel like an overwhelming maze of certifications, job titles, and confusing jargon. So how do you go from zero to job ready in cybersecurity? In this video, we're going to lay out a complete beginner-friendly roadmap from understanding what cybersecurity actually is to choosing your path, learning the right skills, getting certifications, and landing your first job. Whether you're in high school, switching careers, or just curious, this step-by-step -step guide is designed for you. So buckle up because your journey into cybersecurity starts right now. Step one, understand what cybersecurity is. Cybersecurity is the practice of protecting systems, networks, and data from digital attacks. But it's not just about hacking. There are many roles, from ethical hackers to compliance analysts, SOC analysts to security engineers. Your first step is simple. Understand the landscape. Spend time reading blogs like Krebs on Security, follow cybersecurity news, and watch videos that break down real-life hacks. You can't protect what you don't understand. Step two, choose your path. Cybersecurity is like medicine, there are specialists. Some roles are highly technical, others less so. If you like problem solving, incident response or penetration testing might be for you. If you're detail-oriented and love rules, compliance and GRC, governance, risk and compliance might be your lane. Choosing a direction early can help you avoid wasting time on skills you won't use. Step three, learn the fundamentals of IT. Before diving into security, you need a solid IT foundation learn how computers, networks, and operating systems work. Start with basic networking concepts like TCP slash IP DNS and firewalls. Understand how Windows and Linux OS function and get familiar with the command line. Free resources like Professor Messer, Network Chuck, and Cybrary can walk you through the essentials. Step four, get hands-on with labs and simulations. Theory is good, but practice gets you hired. Start with Try Hack Me or Hack the Box for gamified learning. These platforms walk you through real-world cybersecurity scenarios in safe, virtual environments. You'll build confidence and develop muscle memory for tasks you'll actually face on the job. Here's a challenge. What do you think is the most in-demand entry-level job in cybersecurity right now? Keep watching, because we're about to break it down and show you how to get it, even if you're starting from scratch. Step five, learn a little bit of coding. You don't need to be a software engineer but understanding basic scripting goes a long way. Learn Python. It's widely used in automation, malware analysis, and penetration testing. Bash scripting and PowerShell are also extremely valuable, especially in enterprise environments. Websites like Code Academy and Free Code Camp offer free beginner courses. Step six, get certified certifications, validate your knowledge. Start with CompTIA Security Plus. It's beginner friendly and respected by employers. From there, you can look at certifications like SSCP, Cisco's CyberOps Associate, or Google's Cybersecurity Certificate if you're on a budget. Remember, a certification won't get you hired alone, but it opens doors. Step seven, build a home lab. A home lab is your secret weapon. Set up virtual machines, install Kali Linux, simulate attacks, and practice defending systems. This kind of experience looks amazing on a resume and gives you stories to tell during interviews. You don't need expensive hardware, just a decent PC and VirtualBox or VMware. Step eight, network like your career depends on it because it does. Join cybersecurity communities on LinkedIn, Reddit, r slash cybersecurity, r slash netsec, and Discord. Attend local meetups, virtual conferences like DEF CON Safe Mode or B-Sides events. Ask questions, offer help. The cybersecurity world is tight knit and opportunities often come from who you know. Step nine, create a portfolio document your progress. Write blog posts about labs you've completed, Create walkthroughs of Try Hack Me Rooms or post code snippets on GitHub. This shows initiative, helps you retain knowledge, and gives you tangible proof of your skills to share with employers. Step 10, apply for entry-level jobs. Start with job titles like SOC Analyst, IT Security Analyst, or Junior Penetration Tester. Tailor your resume for each application, highlight your lab work, certifications, and any personal projects. You may need to start in help desk or tech support and pivot into security within a year. That's totally normal and a smart strategy. Entry-level job you can land without a degree. 
the most in-demand entry-level job in 2025 is SOC Analyst, Security Operations Center Analyst. SOC analysts are the first line of defense in a company's cybersecurity team. They monitor systems, detect threats, and respond to incidents. It's a high-pressure job, but it's also one of the best ways to learn fast and grow quickly. Many SOC analysts move into senior roles within a year or two, and with salaries starting around $65,000, it's one of the best-paid beginner positions in tech. To land it, build your resume around your Security Plus certification, your lab experience, and your willingness to learn. Learn how to read logs, understand SIAM tools like Splunk or Elastic, and stay calm under pressure. Practice by working through Blue Team challenges on Try Hack Me or Blue Team Labs. The real secret to cybersecurity success. Most people give up too early, they take a course, fail a lab, or get rejected once and think cybersecurity isn't for them. But this field isn't about being perfect, it's about being persistent. The threats change every day, so does the tech. You're not just learning skills, you're training your mindset. Keep going, keep learning, break things, fix them, repeat. And don't compare your journey to someone else's. Some people get hired in six months, others take two years. The only way to fail in cybersecurity is to stop trying. If you've made it this far, you're serious about getting into cybersecurity, and that's exactly the kind of person who succeeds in this field. So here's your next step. Hit that like button to help this video reach others starting their journey. Comment below with where you are on your path, whether you're just starting or already got your first cert, and subscribe for more deep dive videos to keep you moving forward. Remember, no one is born a cybersecurity expert. Everyone starts somewhere, and in a world where data breaches, ransomware attacks, and digital espionage are the new normal, your curiosity, your persistence, and your passion can make you a hero behind the screen. This is your roadmap. The path won't always be easy, but it's absolutely worth it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.